We're approaching Easter this Sunday and I wanted to share a video I did based upon the book that I wrote with Barbara, Jean, and myself. It's a book that uh, we were called to write, meaning we were inspired. Barbara is a very gifted spirit communicator. So she was the one that was the conduit to receive information from Jesus or Jeshua. Now, the best way for me to describe how that process works is it's kind of like a bloodhound, meaning if, if you had a bloodhound, you would give it a scent and it would go and find that person. Well, we're all energetic beings. So what Barbara can do is she can, she can lock into somebody's energetic signature, kind of like a bloodhound does with a scent. And once she makes that connection, then uh, information can flow through as long as you ever to connect with someone like Jesus you have to be a pure heart uh, otherwise it, it's very difficult to get that direct communication I mean Jesus communicates with everyone it's not a special thing but to get very clear messages um, purity of heart is is extremely important and um, and Barbara is a school teacher she doesn't do this um, uh, for a living she uh, she's just pure of heart we don't sell the book um, we, we offer it for free now for people that are, are drawn to it so the purpose of this information is to simply help people that resonate that want to get a, uh, a wider perspective of the esoteric teachings of Jesus um, when he walked the world 2,000 years ago he spoke in parables primarily and and those parables held very um, important esoteric information and for those who now have ears to hear um, we can offer some insight into that so I hope you enjoy this uh, short video on uh, basically the meaning of Christ the ultimate journey of the resurrection of Christ within enjoy So I wanted to talk about what Jesus says what Christ is. There's a lot of confusion about that. So on this beautiful day I wanted to take a, a few minutes and, and share with you the perspective I have been given uh, through direct inspiration on, on what Christ really is. So. When we think of Christ, we think of Jesus, obviously, as the only Son of God. And that's where a lot of people get messed up. They, they put Jesus on a pedestal, which actually, certainly he deserves, however, he does not want. Because his message is, and always has been, we are all one in Christ, meaning all of our souls arise within the one Son or the one creation, which is Christ. So in truth, we're all children of a loving God created in our Creator's image and endowed with free will to expand that creation as Christ. And when we understand that, that's what Christ consciousness is. When Jesus walked the planet, he would see the Christ in everyone. He didn't care if you were a tax collector. He didn't care if you were a Roman soldier. He didn't care if you were a prostitute. He saw beyond the human, imperfect, what you might call um, a cloak, whatever, personality. And he saw the divine light within, which is the truth of who we are. It's a light that can never go out but it can be blocked, certainly. And, um, and that's why we have evil in the world, because we're, we're blocking our light. It's not gone, but, but we certainly, as creator children, have the ability to block it. And through the power of our minds, which our minds are the most powerful thing in the universe, uh, and the beliefs that we believe in, we can justify attack, uh, separation, judgment, all these things that Jesus demonstrated when he walked this earth are unfounded. 
in his last words were, forgive them for they know not what they do, meaning they're coming from a, a lower perspective based on a, a ego uh, or a flawed human perspective of their own divinity. They don't know their own divinity. We don't know our own divinity. Yet, that divinity is always there. Uh, God created us, our Creator created us, we didn't create ourselves. We are the created and therefore our worth is determined by our source, not by us. Not by what we think each other uh, are worthy of or, or who each other is. And, and um, it's because of beliefs like that that we have warred forever. So Christ is the one Son, the one creation in which all souls arise. And when we recognize that shared divinity that we have, we will know peace on earth. It's as simple as that. So that's my little message for today. I hope you appreciate it. I hope you're appreciating this beautiful water here. And as always, peace out.